Welcome back everyone to Street Signs on CNBC. Well today is World Water Day and with 2.2 billion people worldwide still living without safe access to water, former Secretary General of the UN Ban Ki-moon and Patrick Van Koyen, the CEO of the Global Center on Ad Adaptation, have been speaking to CNBC's Tanya Breyer about this global water crisis. A water crisis are one of the most serious risks facing our societies. We need to start planning uh, for a world with a lot less water as the demand continues to rise due to population and economic growth. Climate change is also uh, playing havoc uh, with the water cycle, disrupting uh, weather systems and the rainfall patterns that deliver either too much or too little water and rarely when and where it is absolutely needed. Patrick, you're CEO of the Global Centre on Adaptation. What have you found? We are utterly unprepared for the next crisis, the climate emergency. What do we know? 90% of all natural disasters are water related. More floods, more droughts, more storms, more fires. Take the United States alone. In 2017, three storms costed the United States economy 265 billion. Last year, in 2020, one storm over 55 billion in economic losses. That's why investing in water and climate adaptation is the way to go. Secretary General Ban, you led the efforts in 2015 for the Paris Climate Agreement. What progress do you think has been made? since then, if any. We have to really expedite and raise the ambition level, uh, particularly by political leaders. People know that climate change is a very important, very serious, and need urgent actions. That is okay. But at the same time, we have to take care of all the food shortages and gender empowerment, water shortages, quality educations, resilient to cities, Etc. Etc. Former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from that agreement. Has that had lasting damage? Of course, it really had a lot of negative impact. It's very encouraging now. We are relieved that President Joe Biden has taken decisive action. He signed to rejoin the climate change agreement. But during the four, four years of President Trump's time, all this major international agreement like uh, climate change agreement and the JCPOA and all other major global security and health as well as development issues have been very much hampered by, by this uh, lack of uh, global vision. And Patrick, what do you think the world now needs to prioritize to ensure a sustainable future? To invest in resilient infrastructure. Climate resilient infrastructure will generate the millions of jobs, will generate the economic recovery. It will also provide water services, energy services, health services. That's precisely what we need today. We have uh, 10 years to go. We have to uh, do all our best effort. There are still um, 2 billion people who lack safe drinking water, more than 1.5 billion people who do not have electricity. This is a sad, this is really heartbreaking. We are standing on the precipice of uh, all this crisis. We are all in this together. Otherwise, we will all be a failure. And therefore, I'm really urging uh, political leaders to do their best, lead by example.